Yo, what is good, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Hopefully, you guys are having an awesome day for only positive vibes. As many may know, the Chinese server has been released for Call of Duty Mobile or the Chinese version of Call of Duty Mobile, as some people might call it. With that, we want to take a look and see what they have in game that could possibly come into our game. So I don't want to keep this too long of a video. So let's straight up hop into the game. All right, first thing you guys can see right now, the loadout is basically very similar to one we have regularly however there's a few different things you guys will see and we'll talk about that i didn't manage to play this a little bit one quick disclaimer there is no battle royale right now so we won't be able to take a look at how the battle royale will look however we are going to be able to check out some of the cool new features in here features there's just a few skins that you can probably get but the main thing you can see here there is the lucky draw and this i believe is very similar to the first lucky draw or christmas lucky draw that they got uh, or we got with the dlq um, holiday and then you have the uh, nomad Santa Claus gnome and then you actually have like a few things like the Christmas tree it's all stuff I don't know about the GKS that might be new because I don't think the GKS was out at the time and also the calling cards new so that's kind of cool other than that basically the same thing battle pass that's very important we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the battle pass that's the next thing on the list you guys can see they do get the ghost skin which is what they got on the first season I believe season one is when the battle pass came out but you do actually get the uh, what is this? The LK M4. The M4. That looks like an M4 to me. An M4 black and gold. You actually get a knife as well. Free skin wise, I don't know really if there's anything great. But they do get these crates to give them the black and gold HG40. So that's actually really nice. The crate, you get a lot of crates. Just like how we used to get crates. Now we don't get crates. But they do. They also get the Urban Tracker. Which was, I believe, is Season 3 Battle Pass for us. Maybe Season 4. Probably Season 4 if I remember correctly. So that's kind of cool. You have some charms, which is really nice. We have, um, what gun is this? We have the black and gold Arctic 50. So that's kind of cool. Uh, we also have the soap skin again another season three or four skin We also have a pistol here black and gold J. We have the QQ 9 black and gold We also have uh, what else do we have? We have the emote here, which is a selfie one. That's cool They get David Mason and they get the KN black and gold as well as borders But they also get looks like a crate every level past 50. So that's kind of cool Now this is kind of cool but also kind of sad in my opinion. So they have the event tab. You guys can see right here. Look at the cool things they have. They We had this for our anniversary. However, we had the oil spill as a, I guess, 10,000 point kind of reward. Then they get the black. Is it black and gold championship? I don't know what it's called. I think it's black and gold Merc 5 or championship. I'm pretty sure it's black and gold. And if you actually complete and get to the leaderboard, you will get the oil spill. A chicken they call it the cqb5 so this is a really really nice one but honestly nothing too crazy you guys can see nothing amazing they get like the uh the border the stuff like that a knife so really i'm kind of more disappointed that i got to have to grind for it but you know what everyone's gonna get this that's really really cool we actually have some other stuff here i believe this is just um i don't know exactly what this is but here's a cool thing you can actually grind a battery skin by opening the crates. As a matter of fact, I actually might have a couple of skins. This is probably a daily login kind of vibe. It seems like it. We also have other stuff. Obviously, I cannot. I, I say obviously. But I can't read Chinese. I am born in Canada. So there's some cool stuff you can see. You can get an S36 skin. You can unlock some cool stuff here. Some crates. Uh, it looks like just like random stuff. Like get kills. Daily login stuff. Double XP is going on right now. They have this new crate, which we'll show you guys in a second. We also have XP cards. This is a daily login. They get the zombie gene. Or I don't think no, this is the um, Dark Crystal. I don't remember the name exactly, but they do get that instead of us who got the uh, zombie. They actually have a little submarine charm, which looks really cool. They get actually a peace selfies kind of thing. So those are like the daily login in the beginning. We also have this, which is the same thing. The crate stuff that you get, you just get some uh, some credits and stuff like that. We also have here, which is a random XP car kind of vibe. Same thing, you get a free ASM 10 skin uh regular daily challenges or just regular challenges you can unlock let me see what you can unlock i think this one is the if my screen would just there you go rc car this one should be the annihilator backpack ak-17 this one is the hvk and we have the purple icr which i believe we got for free as well 
We also have this cool system here. I believe this is a daily login. Every day you log in, you get these things and you get the tickets. And after, I believe, six days, you'll get six tickets, which you can actually use on these crates or you can use it on the MSMC. I believe this is the rosy one that we got for free. So they're getting a lot of the free skins that you can get right off the bat. Or you can get this um, pretty ugly Arctic 50 skin. Or even better yet, you can pull it for these crates to get the battery skin, which I actually, I'll do one. So we'll actually have that in our backpack. And uh, we should be able to open a few of them afterwards. And then finally, we have this other tab here, which has like a lot of like cool, I guess, outside kind of vibe. You can see, you can see like Jay Chow, I believe he's a famous singer in China. In China, So you guys, cool stuff. I'm not going to click on these because it's a lot of cool stuff, but like you can actually potentially, oh, this is the coolest part. It looks like some kind of, I don't know what this is. I'm going to be real with you guys. I do not know what this is, but it looks like, I feel like it's like a kind of, X amount of downloads or like registrations to the game and everybody will unlock this for free. It does seem like that you can get this sick ghost skin. Take a closer look. It looks like a sick ghost skin as well as like an Arctic. It's got a bunch of XP cards. I'm not exactly sure what this is. Okay, chat. I'm gonna be real with you guys. I have no idea what this is, but this looks super cool. That ghost skin would be awesome if it comes in the game. So that's really nice. I'm actually super excited about that. We're gonna go ahead and hit the back button, uh, but Overall, this whole page is a little confusing for me. There's a lot of stuff here, but it seems like you can win a lot of cool IRL stuff in China. But again, their market is massive. So as expected, you might think that's it for now, but there is so much more to go on. I didn't want to make this too long of a video because it's pretty insane. This right here is basically um, if you buy CP, you will get these free stuff. If you purchase uh, X amount of money, amount, I think this is like $500, 500 yuan worth which is approximately a hundred dollars worth you'll unlock these uh you can get the phantom skin you can get the um color burst i don't know if i can click on it m4 color burst you get the uh ak117 color burst i believe if you spend up to five hundred dollars you can see right here you get the aks i don't know what that that's actually really nice what the heck i want that bro that's sick yeah, sorry, no AK-17, but the Karambit, all these free stuff. Pretty pretty nifty, in my opinion. Then afterwards, there is the buy bonus that we just added as well. If you buy for X amount, you get extra CP. I believe it looks like an upwards of an extra... It looks like 1,300, maybe 1,600. Didn't do any math there. They also have... What else do they have here? I'm just going to click on these small links here. That's invite a friend kind of vibe. We also have here another um, super discounted kind of vibe as well. You have this, they're like every day showing off new skins coming out. Uh, so that's kind of cool. It's just Battle Pass skins, to be honest. They have a Captain Price coming out as well. And then we have this, uh, what is this? Probably another J Chow kind of vibe. So we're just going to go back. Not really worth looking. Um, You might think, oh, is that it? No, there's more. This part right here, this is insane. So it's showing this like kind of like map. And in this map, there's so much cool stuff. First things first, this is the coolest part. There is going to be nunchucks added to the game nunchucks that is insane i'm trying my best to get this to get gameplay with it i'm trying my best i have no idea how this works i seem to be getting puzzle pieces i am getting them but this is how it kind of have like a nunchuck emote that is insane absolutely sick like i just want to know how this looks that is crazy that is sick oh my god that is crazy obviously the backpack whatever that doesn't really matter um, if I remember correctly here, it just leads to all the other pages we had before. This is like the captain price that you unlock. Oh yeah. You get a captain price. That's you get captain price. You buy stuff. Uh, yeah. So this page is just to show off all these other cool things that we have here. So yeah, this is the, like the page I wanted to show you guys off. This is like the, um, veterans return. So every single day you log in. So this is, it says first day, second day, third day. You unlock all these. It's locked right now, so I can't unlock it. But you can do like task and you can unlock all these cool stuff. And eventually you will unlock the M4 uh, J skin, which is sick. This is a sick purple skin. I know it's a collab with like a celebrity in China, but what a what a sick skin. That's actually really nice. You get quick fix, which I'm super happy about that. Uh, you guys can see I'd already have some CP, uh, some credits. I got some gravity spikes just by playing the game a little bit. So that's pretty cool. And I have no idea what else you unlock throughout the days. There is what seven days worth of this. Pretty crazy. And then you have the daily login thing that we were, were talking about. But other than that, I think that's about everything. I think I have like one or two crates that we can open, potentially speaking. Um, that's just that's just a, a random thing that we clicked on. But other than that, I think that was it. We have this. I don't know what this is either, but these are cool. This AK-17 skin is kind of sick. This Cordite skin is sick. And they get the dark. They get this for free, I think. I could be wrong. But going dark, Outrider, she looks skinnier than in our game. I don't know why. 
it just be like that but that that is pretty insane and then we'll show you guys the season reward since you guys i'm sure you guys already know about it but it looks like as of now the main season stuff is random blue guns i mean they, they look okay but the drh you get an epic one we'll just scroll down to show you guys the drh but you guys can see you get a knife you get um is that a sniper here uh, KRM, the KRM looks kind of clean, but if you get to Master 2, 3, Master 3, you'll get the DRH skin, which looks really uh, really nice. According to Bobby, it does look like the base camp, but reskin, it's not really an epic skin. They just said it's epic, and they get the crates, which uh, you can get the HG40 black and gold. So a lot of these crates get black and gold stuff, and I'm assuming, assuming the rune skin will come with BR, but there's no BR as of now. Can't even click on it. You guys can see there's no BR. There's no BR anywhere. Can't even click on it. Even this here just leads to like an outside thing. So can't click on it. There's no BR. But we do actually have some crates that we can potentially open. Let's see what we can maybe get from that. Uh, where's my crates? All right. So first thing, this is to get credits. I believe. Yeah. We used to have this. This was actually super sick back in the days. I really love this. I wish they would bring those back. This is just to get XP cards. Again, I wish they would bring those back as well. More XP cards kind of vibe. Uh, more credits. I'm not going to open it. This is cool. You have a chance to get the battery skin. Again, these odds are probably not the best. Let's be real. You're probably not going to get anything crazy, but you got an LK skin. So that's actually really nice. And then I believe there was another crate. Oh, this is the crate to get the LK. Yeah, so this is the LK crate. So th there's like three crates you can do. You get the free crate to get the, the battery skin. You get the free crate to get this G37, which is obviously the LK. You guys can see. Look how beautiful this is. And then you get a free crate to get the... Um, HG40, so I obviously don't have any crates for the HG40, but we do have two of these crates, so let's go ahead and just open both of them. If we pull it, you already know your boy is the luckiest person in the world. Okay, I didn't pull it, but we did get some skins. But these are all free free crates, which, in my opinion, this is pretty insane, even compared to before. We got a backpack. Hog. But there is some insane things right now. Gameplay-wise, everything seems... Uh, pretty much the same oh another cool thing that i mentioned i didn't mention but i saw is that you get a lot of loadouts that have all the attachments on it like right here i have full attachments on this like these guns start at level five giving you all the attachments that's kind of cool i don't know if they do the same thing but like if i have like some guns like a py 15 i already have it at level five i have all these attachments already on it so that's kind of cool it has the extended mag um just a regular silencer it looks like this is the sleight of hand we did put on the regular hip fire, which I believe it's only 10%. I feel like there's a nerf already on the hip fire here. 10% compared to 11%. I think we have like 15% to 13%. So they, they seem to be nerfing already stuff here. So that's going to be kind of interesting to see if any of these follow through. I, I looked to see if there's any new guns. There is no new guns. Matter of fact, they actually don't have the Peacekeeper. They don't actually have like the new guns that we have. They don't have the NA45. They don't have like a lot of these these SMGs that we have as well, like the brand new ones, they don't have the QQ9, but all these names are completely different. So we honestly don't have much, but that's basically the whole rundown of it. There's some pre pretty nice stuff in this game that I'm kind of low key by low key. I mean, high key jealous about, but it's pretty nice. Kind of cool to see what we potentially could get. I'm excited for if Warzone comes out on this in China, I will definitely try it out for you guys. All right, that's it for today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did like, share, and subscribe, don't forget to let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about the Chinese version. Honestly, I think they got super spoiled. They got so much free skin or the opportunity to get all these free skin. Their battle pass is insane as well. But granted, China is the most valuable market when it comes to mobile gaming. So I totally understand where they want to spoil this market. But wow, I'm actually shocked to see some of the cool stuff they got. I don't know, however, if we were spoiled. Maybe season one, we were like spoiled like that as well. I wasn't playing at the time, but let me know if it was like that. I don't know. Let me know. All right, I'm out. See you guys next time. Kill it.